Gail is standing by with another fan. Hey, I'm here with Andy. He's from Toronto. Hey, uh, how do you like Toronto so far? So far, I've seen a beautiful city. I have not seen any people. So I'm looking to go out tonight and tomorrow to change that perspective. But so, I mean, I, I came here Tuesday and we're driving around the city looking for a burrito place. And uh, I found Bandito's, yeah. go to Bandito's. And uh, it was, it was all, like the buildings, the structure, the, everything is awesome. The infrastructure is awesome. But I see no people anywhere. I'm like, well, what's going on? It's like a ghost town. Wait until Saturday, buddy. Okay, I, I, that's what I'm doing. I have another Twitter question real quick from Mind Hamster. He wants to know, will you continue to fight the smart game instead of just banging? And which do you prefer? Well, the biggest thing is this. The way I used to fight the old style is always in me. I, I have to repress that through training. So for me, um, it's always inside. If I get into a bad situation or I get into a scrap, I'm going to always be able to scrap. But the game plan keeps me safe. I've never had a fight in my past three years where after my fight, I'm able to go back to training right away. I had to take a month off, let my hands heal, let my face heal, and then get back to training. You know, not training with Faraz and having a great game plan. I go out there, I win my fights, I don't get hit, my hands don't hurt, I come out, I, I come back on Monday to the gym training again. So for me, I think it's a smarter approach and it's gonna make my career last longer. Before I went out to fight, I was 34, 35. I'm 30 years old now. If I keep this up now and, and, and keep fighting smart, I can last time 40. You've heard from one of the best in the world. He is Miguel Torres. He will be taking on Demetrius Johnson. My name is John Ramdean. You have been watching Real Sports All Access here on the Fight Network.